In the interview for the Hardline Music Magazine and yeah, the Rock Bottom YouTube channel, channel and radio show as well, Galaxy, yeah, Dutch progressive rock band, and they've got released the first album after yeah, 25 years after the recording. So it's a very good album, um, Runaway Man, it's called. And yeah, what was the reason that is? It is just yeah, released uh, or released 25 years after recording the album. That's a little bit unusual. Yes, it is. The recordings were in a safe uh, almost 25 years uh, after recording the album. Uh, basically, the band uh, split up. So the recordings uh, remained. Uh, on a shelf for 25 years and uh, two years ago I met um, David uh, from Huttingsfeld and he was uh, interested in the, in the recordings so I uh, brought it uh, to the boys uh, if there was a possibility to um, bring the album uh, eventually after the 25 years and they all said uh, yes. So uh, Niels, uh, Niels is sitting next to me. Uh, yeah. He looked up all the tapes and um, found them, and somehow restored them and uh, made uh, great mixes. Mm -hmm. It's good, yes, and it's yeah. I heard it. It's not an old album. It sounds yeah modern. It's got a modern shape. Um, if I wouldn't have known that it's 25 years old, the recordings, I didn't ha have the idea that it's yeah, from the 90s. So did you add or rearrange things for the release or was is it, were these the original tapes? Um, we replaced some, some parts of it. They were just unusable, but... Um, no, it's just a, a modern way of mixing, and, and that also works for old recordings, apparently. Ah mm -hmm. oh, yes, and um, was it and easy? We, able to, we are able to restore a lot more in these days with modern techniques than yeah. 25 years ago when it was still on tape. Yeah, this was would be my idea because it was old technology. I guess analog recordings, but it has to be brought into digital technology. So was it a hard task to transfer the old well, tapes, the old recordings into modern yeah, shape, modern technology? It was already uh, digital. It was on, recorded on digital tape. Ah. And um, back in the days we had, I think, Four of those machines. Yeah, ADAT. ADAT machines. ADAT machines. And um, so the basic recordings were done on 24 tracks. Um, but uh, at the time I had to convert them to the computer into a modern workstation. I only had one of those machines left, so I had just <laughs> <laughs> eight tracks at a time. I could, I could. Uh, uh, Convert to uh, to the computer, so that was a, a hard job. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, if you heard the the um, recordings of 1997, so yeah. Were there things where you said, all right, this wasn't good or this would have been better from our current point of view, from our current yeah, knowledge and experience or did you say it's good and we've done a great job? How would you see it? Mm. Well, the, as uh, Niels uh, said, uh, some of the tapes were not, were not in too good uh, shape. So uh, some uh, guitar parts were uh, replaced, but I, I think that's it. Yes, yeah. it's, it's all original uh, drum tracks, original bass tracks, all keys are uh, original. Mm 
Old vocals. Old vocals of Bard are no, from uh, 1997, yes. Yeah, no fixings or... Uh, it, ah, it's yes. the end of the last. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, that's on this, the last song on the album is called Runaway Man, or the man singular, but the album is called Runaway Man in plural, so does the album title reflect your past situation recorded in album, Everybody Ran Away? Yes, or, or, yes. yes. That's, uh, that's exactly as you uh, describe it, because <laughs> uh, after the recordings were uh, done, we all went separate ways and uh, did uh, other stuff, and did, we didn't say goodbye to our fans, there wasn't a, a farewell concert or something like that. We just uh, split up and uh, that was that. So when we were looking for a proper title for the album, we came up, uh, I, I guess, a new... No. Uh, okay. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. <laughs> Somebody came up with uh, the title Runaway Man. <laughs> and uh, we all agreed on that because it's exactly what it uh, is. I, I think the, the the keyboard player, my my, my uh, brother Art. I think I think uh, he uh, it's his idea. He's okay, always uh, that kind of stuff. And hey, run away, man! Run away. It's, it's just what happened. We all split up, and we we have to use this uh, for the title. It, it, good idea. Yeah, <laughs> good, it's good. Yes, and. Um, was there a lyrical meaning in the songs at that time, or how did you find the lyrics? Um, was it, uh, how did you come to the lyrics at that time? Uh, it, it, I think it de depended on who wrote uh, the lyrics. Uh, usually uh, one of us uh, came up uh, with a song and then there had to be a lyrics uh, also. And if it wasn't finished, at, uh, at completely, then we would uh, do that for four of our hours. But uh, the the main lyrics were written by one person. Yeah. Am mm -hmm. I correct? And that uh, could be uh, on, fixed on a person basis. Yeah, on a person uh, basis. And I think it's the lyrics are all about our personal uh, lives. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. No political. Thanks things of social criticism or okay and um, answers on the, hand, on the other hand if you listen to the lyrics of um, look into my eyes they are still a very um, they could also be written uh, nowadays it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's about the use of, of the day uh, using weapons uh, and and stuff like that and I, uh, that's a lyric uh, written uh, 25 years ago yeah. something like that and that's still, uh, yeah, actual, we say that. Actual. Actual. <laughs> actual, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and it, 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 it are, um, much of the songs are uh, about uh, boys growing up yeah. and, 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 and stuff that happens in, in their young lives. Uh, uh, relationships, uh, uh, the parents, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, broken up uh, families. Uh, uh, they, they, uh, my, my mom and my dad um, got divorced, and and uh, things you have to do for maybe uh, for school and stuff. And uh, sometimes uh, it can be uh, very hard to to uh, for, to. Uh, so th th there are all kinds of things in in the lyrics, but. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and answers is the opening track. So, what kind of answers did you mean? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that, that's, a, that's my brother's song. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's not here. He's not here. <laughs> okay. Uh, what can we say about I, that? I think uh, that uh, Art was uh, a wee bit uh, insecure at the time looking for a way uh, to find a, a good way in his life, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So everybody has written the lyrics, not just you, but as a singer, um, it was a contribution, a lyrical contribution of yeah, everybody. Yes. Okay. And um, there's an outstanding instrumental on it, yeah, gallery play. So 
but your voice is great, but in this case, nobody misses a singer. Yeah, no. but so how did you come to this great instrumental? Was it planned as an instrumental or did it happen in, um, by accident? How would you see it? Some, some things, I, I think uh, the instrumental was based on one of the first uh, uh, guitar parts uh, Niels and I uh, wrote together out of a jam. Mm -hmm. And then we said, let's let's make a song out of it. And then we finished uh, the four of us, and we got all in, uh, I, I think, an equal part in, in solos. And uh, uh, I, I think it's based on a on a, on a guitar. I, 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 I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was just from rehearsals and jam, and, and it was yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We spend a lot of time in those days. We uh, every Friday and Saturday, basically, we uh, were in the studio writing always. Mm -hmm. Whether we uh, we had uh, uh, shows uh, coming up or not, we were always uh, making music. Mm -hmm. Spend a lot of time uh, together, and I think that is why the music is really tight. You know? Yeah, is it? Uh... But at that time, it was very expensive to book a studio, I guess. Nowadays, you can do most at home or many parts at home. But at that time, so was it, it, it expensive to record it and then don't release it? Or how would you see it? Under, under normal circumstances, it, this album would be very expensive because we uh, we it took a very long to uh, finish it. But uh, the, the great thing uh, was and still is that we had our own uh, uh, rehearsal room. We we built that uh, the, mainly uh, Niels uh, as a studio in the, in the backyard, and we knew a guy who was at the time uh, had a lot of equipment but no but no studio. So that came uh, together in a in a brilliant uh, way. We worked uh, mm. him uh, on our first uh, EP called uh, Back Before the Storm. Uh, uh, René Howen uh, is his uh, name. So he brought his stuff to our studio and then we uh, could uh, do uh, whatever we want. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it was a good collaboration and it's complex music, but it's accessible as well. It's got a good song orientation. There's no excessive soloing. Is it your attitude? Some other bands, they try to demonstrate the um, virtuosity, so how would you see it this way? Um, it's a well-balanced album, so was it intended? To, the, the, was it intended to make no. it not too complicated, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 it's complex music, I, I but it's, it's got uh, a good song orientation as well. Some other bands, they are very complex and make it too complex, too long, many solos and instrumental yeah. parts. But in this, the, the, the song stands in the foreground. I, I think uh, that uh, the music of Galaxy really is all about the melodies. Mm -hmm. Listen to the, the 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 melody lines of the choruses. They are all very strong, and they don't need any complex uh, things. It's it's all about uh, the uh, strong melody, I guess. And uh, now and then there's a yeah a, a, a strange uh, time signature. We use that as well, but we try to make that uh, sound very natural, if you know what I mean. Not not very hooky, but it's uh, it's it's got a certain yeah. swing, I guess. Okay. And, and um, when we started to record, we we already knew um, every every bit of of what what was going on the track uh, on the on the machine, eh? What 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 we wanted to record, and uh, you can change little things, but the the the, the main. Uh, uh, thing we wanted to achieve with each and every song, we already spent so much time uh, and effort yeah. to to get it right and to mm. make demos of it. Uh, just just by putting a mic uh, in, in in the room and just record it and listen. Okay, uh, and, and, till we get it right, and then we uh, 
got in just a, a, a bunch of stuff to, to, to record it and, and to get the right mics and, and all the right stuff. So uh, otherwise you would spend so many hours uh, yeah, make, make it uh, in the time that you're in the studio or and and, and then, then you uh, uh, yeah you you kind of spend so many hours and we we thought everything out before we started to hit the bottom yeah record we, mm. did, we did a lot of uh, pre-production basically oh, yeah. before we start uh, started to record uh, the songs for real okay that's very good and did you have a producer or was it a self-produced album I, I, don't have, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, basically, we, uh, the four of us, uh, produced uh, the album, and there was uh, Rene Howen, who was more uh, the, the engineer, I guess. Ah, yes. And, okay. uh, but I think, do you agree, boys? Yeah, uh, sure. We had the four of us. Uh, there wasn't, <laughs> at the time of, of recording, there wasn't that much to produce. Yeah, yeah but, okay, I understand. Okay, and um, yeah, your music reminds me a little bit to some bands, for example, Arena, Merillion, IQ, or Threshold. Am I right, or how would you see it? What were your yeah, role models? Which bands inspire you for your own yeah, music? I think we listened in those days a lot to um, uh, bands like Rush, uh, 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 Merillion, of course. But also Queensryche uh, uh, came, uh, uh, the album uh, Operation Mindcrime uh, came out and we, we were mind blown by that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I, I guess, uh, yeah, Marillion Rush, uh, yes, also. And the funniest thing is, uh, when we recorded uh, the, the EP, the, uh, Back Before the Storm, uh, then the uh, engineer, we were working on a vocal uh, intro for one of the songs called uh, Back Before the Storm. And it was a uh, four or five uh, voices. Mm. And then that guy said, well, that sounds just like uh, a, a intro from uh, the Yes album. And he referred to uh, Seen All Good People. Seen Yeah, but we never heard of uh, Yes. Uh, the four of us uh, were completely blank when it's uh, about uh, progressive rock. So we started listening to that and discovering uh, progressive rock. And that brought us to uh, Marillion, Yes, and you name it, Genesis, Kayak mm -hmm. also. A lot of music uh, we uh, discovered at, at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah, we as, as a young child, uh, I was uh, growing up with the Beatles uh, mm. uh, and, and, and uh, yeah, uh, my, my parents were very uh, much about uh, listening uh, and, uh, uh, to music. So uh, there were always uh, parties and, uh, and, and good music, uh, Beach Boys and so. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. And um, yeah, you really mentioned it um, back before the storm. Is this mini album still available or will it re-released as well? Or how would you see it? This would be I, maybe later on a re-release. I don't think so. The, uh, back before the storm is, is uh, highly collectible at this moment. Yeah. This, this, yeah. this, this may be the last one. Yeah, and and uh, w w when somebody has this and try and it and they uh, put it on eBay, it's it's gone the next day. <laughs> yeah, it's highly collectible. Yeah, it's highly collectible. So the uh, the funniest thing is also and, and maybe that is why uh, Runaway Man is uh, came out that uh, is because um, when I joined uh, Kayak, a lot of people start listening to what you have done before that, and that was of course a, a, a Galaxy. So I played in Sweden and some guy uh, asked me to uh, put an autograph on a, on a Galaxy CD. Hmm. So I asked him, how on earth did you get that CD? But he, he, he got it from some uh, bidding site or something like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that, I, I, I thought that was very special. Mm -hmm. and 
turned out that uh, after uh, uh, David David uh, from Hartigveld uh, contacted me uh, about uh, more material that uh, that uh, complete uh, uh, back before the storm is in the underground a, a collectible uh, item. Mm -hmm. So that uh, we think that's a uh, very strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So and yeah, so it's good you have brought it out the old album as a new one and um, will it be just the re-release re or will you go on tour maybe for some gigs or maybe make a new album in the future um, with Galaxy? Are there any plans for continuing your work? How would you see it? Well, yeah, we uh, at the moment uh, all four of us are very busy, but um, we agreed on uh, going into the rehearsal room somewhere uh, in June, I guess, and then see if the the holy spark is uh, still there. I hope then, so. Yeah, we see. See now, don't forget the music of of Galaxy is pretty complicated. And uh, Niels uh, hasn't hasn't played drums for 25 years, I guess. Yeah, 20 <laughs> or, or something like that. Yeah. So, so uh, I, I, I haven't uh, touched the the, the, drum, the drumsticks uh, for years. So uh, it, 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 it's 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 going to be uh, a struggle. <laughs> so you have to relearn some things. Yeah. Maybe yeah. to get into the music again. Maybe to yeah. It's like I'm um, riding a bike. You never forget it. Uh, you, you're yeah. riding it all. Yeah, you know. And um, yeah, it's if you see it, the time from '97 to now is the music scene more open, open-minded for progressive rock as it was. Yeah, in 97. Today, how would you see it, Bart? For example, you are still in the business in some yeah. bands how would you see it is this uh, environment better better today yeah very good it's, it's uh, these days uh, the symphonic rock or prop rock or uh, give it give it a name progressive rock is a, a very hip again mm -hmm. and uh, when we split up that was uh, in the 90s you had that whole Uh, Seattle uh, uh, crunch uh, scene coming up, uh, bands like uh, Pearl Jam, uh, 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 yeah, what are you know, yeah, Pearl Jam, uh, uh, Nirvana, Nirvana, uh, yeah, Soundgarden, guitar, Soundgarden, all guitar oriented uh, bands, they took over the whole uh, musical landscape. And I, I guess it, in, in some way that killed the band, the band also, because yeah. uh, that took over everything. And uh, mm -hmm. when we split up, uh, uh, prog rock was not popular. So that mm -hmm. made it very hard. Yeah. Also. Maybe, maybe oh, uh, like the style, uh, because you, get, you, you had uh, MTV was coming up in those days, and that's only popular music. And, yeah. and, 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 I've never seen Russia back in the days on uh, on uh, on MTV or or, or or something like that or Saga or never and 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 I think uh, it was a struggle uh, for us to, uh, to 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 get to get where we wanted to go uh, with, with, with with Oh yeah and but the situation in the netherlands is a very good situation for progressive rock in, in holland i guess there are many they are open-minded for your music i guess well I, I, you mean nowadays or nowadays i guess they are very open-minded there are many bands who have tours and um in germany as well but i guess england not so much i'm not quite sure but in netherlands we're always open-minded for progressive rock i guess yes it, it is I, i just uh i'm touring now with uh with kayak and we get a lot of people uh some mm -hmm. uh sold out places also mm -hmm. and i know the progressive uh rock bands uh they do the same so it, it's uh it's a good time to play uh Progressive rock again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, what were your um, other musical 
bands, okay, you said Nils, you weren't playing drums for a long time, but you bought you and other bands, um, or you and Nils, um, what did you do in other bands? Which bench bands did you play in in the recent 25 years? Well, we, we all, ah, yeah. all the, the four of us, we did all play in commercial bands after uh, cover, cover bands after uh, after uh, Galaxy. Mm -hmm. uh, Art, Art uh, who is not here right now, the keyboard player, is now playing in a band called uh, uh, Perfect Storm, also a progressive rock band. And um, well, I play in uh, Kayak, but also work together with some Finnish uh, guys, uh, the, the, the Samurai Proc. Uh, I do some stuff with, and um, uh, I've uh, recorded a, a solo album and yeah, did a lot of stuff basically. Still, news, news is more uh, the producer these days, I guess. I am running a uh, commercial studio for years now. Okay. So, still in music business. As a producer, yeah, that sounds yeah good. And yeah, um, are there any information left out about the new album? Yeah, will you do a video clip or something like that for one of the songs? We we have uh, I guess two video clips now from uh, one video clip with old uh, footage from uh, mm -hmm. from. That's a song is called uh, uh, Talk to, to Me. me. Yeah, it's a single. Yeah. That's a, that, that was the first single uh, for this album. And we have a lyrical video for uh, Look Into My Eyes. Mm -hmm. And um, the, to be honest, uh, we are just thinking about now releasing the album and doing promos. And uh, maybe after that, there will be videos. But at this moment, it's the. Uh, more uh, promos and uh, interviews uh, like that. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, these were my questions. Do you still have yeah further information about the new album or about your band activities? Something that is left out, unmentioned aspects? Well, I think it's a great uh, thing that we are still uh, friends. And uh, at, at the time we split up, there was no uh, big fight. We just uh, uh, split up and we uh, somewhere somewhere along the way we re reunited again. But we never lost uh, contact. We always uh, stayed in touch, uh, worked again on other projects with uh, each other. Uh, Niels uh, uh, produced my album, so uh, there, there are no, uh, yeah, no, no hard feelings. It was just uh, we split up, and uh, that was it. But we didn't have a lot of a big fight about it. Only small. Only small. <laughs> small, 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 small discussions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so I think that's the secret to uh, this uh, success that we can sit here and have fun and like uh, the boys we were back in the days and uh, that will never change, yeah. probably. Yeah. And, and so we are we are very delighted, very delighted that 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 after 25 years uh, the album uh, it, 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 yeah it is 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 coming out. Um, uh, it, it's a rare thing, and and and, and I, I never as expected it uh, to to uh, to come to this. And uh, yeah, it's it, 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 it ju just like a, a dream uh, for me. Yeah, of personally. course, of course. Yeah, it will be a golden record, and yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Playing big, yeah. huge arenas. Yeah, we all uh, ordered uh, new cars uh, already. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Hopefully, the best that the album is going to be received well and selling well, and there will be a future album. Yeah, hope we hope the best. Yeah, Galaxy, thank you very much for this nice interview. Sure. Greetings to your keyboard player as well. He is greeted as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Great success, golden records, sold out concerts. We see you here, Hamburg, at the Color Line Arena. No, Barclay Card Arena. 15,000 people can be go into the oh, concert. It's small for us. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.